What's up, guys? So today I wanted to kind of, uh, I guess, talk about uh, what weaponized geometry was. And a lot of people are kind of uh, either they don't know, or they're misconstrued, or they think it's like a math class or, <laughs> or something. Um, but weaponized geometry is my one-man CQB course. So it's, it's really, uh, I guess you can say it's, it's more of a home defense class. Or oriented around that feel and then also a single officer response type thing uh, or feeling as well and what what that does is is it really forces you to think because you're on your own you're not working in a team environment um, which for for most people nowadays like you're I mean you're probably not on a team and you're probably not doing team-based CQB like when there's a bump in the night or if you're defending your home in some form or fashion, you're probably not doing it in a team-based way. Um, now, if you are, cool, but <laughs> most likely not. And uh, team-based CQB classes like uh, I'm teaching this weekend with Don Edwards uh, from Greenline Tactical uh, is a super fun class. Super good, nice to know, really fun to hang out with all the dudes and work as a team. It's It's always cool to be like, you know, switching positions from the the one man, three man, four man, all that jazz, and and really really work in some of the the team based learned lessons and stuff. But what is more applicable to the the concealed carrier or a a police officer is one man stuff, and it's because sometimes you're kind of stuck by yourself and you have to know how to. Uh, orient yourself and do things and, and understand the concepts and the tactics that you need to utilize to get yourself through some situation like that. So that's really what weaponized geometry is about. Uh, in between some of the scenarios, uh, I go ahead and, and well, let's, let's start out this way, right? Day one, uh, we do pretty much everything against paper. So it is uh, tactics, concepts, and principles that go into working on your own and by yourself throughout a structure. Um, and that's what, I mean, it's geometry, right? A structure, rooms, uh, cars, anything that you're around has geometry. It's, it's a geometric shape. And it's not to say we're going to be adding A plus or A, a squared plus B squared and all that jazz. We're not doing anything like that, I promise. But what we are doing is, is learning how to work the angles and, uh, and, and work them with your body and with a weapon, right? So weaponized geometry. And on day one, it's all against paper. So like I said, tactics, principles, and concepts uh, that go around that and try to really enforce people to understand really what you're getting yourself into as, as a single officer uh, responding to something or uh, as a person on your own uh, just doing, you know, protecting your own home or all that jazz. Um, the... Uh, the second day is where we, we take it a notch up and we start doing force-on-force force iterations. Uh, the force-on-force force iterations will be uh, one man versus one or two or one or two or three. Um, the students play as role players, so you get more gun time or at least see what the other side sees in the sense of like, hey man, he used that door frame really, really well or he entered that room really uh, just so so efficiently I couldn't get a shot on him uh, like things like that there's a lot of AARs uh, which are after action reports after each iteration really really talking through it it's it's a damn fun class and uh, one of the one of the other things that I add in there is is what I call uh, my gunfighting principles right and it's now I need to change the name because that sounds way too like tactical Timmy kind of bullshit and and nothing against that, but I, I need to find a better name for it. But really what it is, they're, they're drills against an opponent. So uh, I'll teach you how to use cover and use it properly. And then you're going to utilize cover, and so is another student, and you're going to use it against each other. So things like that, um, different, different concepts and, and principles that go around fighting against another human... And in between the scenarios, we'll be doing those kind of things, and it's they're fun. Uh, it gets a little it gets a little wild, but it's it's a good time, and I think everybody that's done this class with those gunfighting principles has really enjoyed it. 
And, uh, and those of you who came to like an earlier course before I started doing that, uh, come join us, right? Come, come to another one. So I hope that clears up some of the questions or a couple things about weaponized geometry and really, really kind of understanding what the, the course is about. And uh, I have three of them coming up. Uh, one in Miami, Florida, uh, which is in a week and a half. Uh, I have one in Bradenton, Florida, which is in February. And I have one in Muncie at MTAC in Indiana uh, in December, in early December. So uh, you guys are welcome to contact me for any questions or comment below or ask. You know, I'm, I'm pretty easygoing and, and like to answer questions when there are some uh, legitimate ones. But it is definitely like I, I named the class based off of what, what you're doing. It's weaponized geometry. So hope that helps. And, uh, and let me know if you guys have anything to ask.